DMV Practice Test. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where you'll discover a wide array of valuable content to enhance your learning experience. From informative tutorials to engaging discussions, there's something here for everyone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Test 3. Question 1. This white sign means Option A. The railroad crossing is controlled, continue at your regular speed. Option B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. Option C. Stop at the railroad tracks and wait for a signal before crossing. The correct answer is Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. Explanation the railroad crossing sign, often depicted as a white X-shaped sign with black letters reading railroad crossing, serves as a warning to drivers that they are approaching a railroad crossing. It indicates that there are railroad tracks ahead and that drivers should be cautious, slow down, and be prepared to stop in case a train is approaching. This sign is crucial for ensuring the safety of motorists and preventing accidents at railroad crossings. Test 3 Question 2. A peace officer is signaling you to drive to the edge of the roadway. You decide to ignore the officer's warning and flee the scene. You are guilty of a misdemeanor and can be punished by being. Option A. Find up to $1,000. Option B. Jailed in the county jail for not more than one year. Option C. Given a warning and a citation. The correct answer is Jailed in the county jail for not more than one year. Explanation Ignoring a peace officer's signal to drive to the edge of the roadway and fleeing the scene can result in misdemeanor charges. As a consequence, you could be punished by being jailed in the county jail for not more than one year. Test 3 Question 3 The speed limit in any alley is Option A. 20 miles per hour. Option B. 15 miles per hour. Option C. 25 miles per hour. The correct answer is 15 miles per hour. Explanation. The reason for a lower speed limit in alleys is primarily due to safety concerns. Alleys are typically narrow and may have limited visibility making it more challenging for drivers to react to unexpected obstacles or pedestrians. Additionally, alleys often have intersections with other alleys, driveways, or streets, increasing the likelihood of accidents if vehicles are traveling at higher speeds. By setting a lower speed limit, authorities aim to reduce the risk of accidents and improve overall safety for both drivers and pedestrians in these confined spaces. Test 3 Question 4. You are getting ready to make a right turn. You should. Option A. Always stop before making a right turn. Option B. Signal during the last 100 feet before you turn. Option C. Slow down and signal as you start your turn. The correct answer is. Signal during the last 100 feet before you turn. Explanation. When preparing to make a right turn, you should signal during the last 100 feet before you turn. Signaling in advance alerts other drivers and pedestrians of your intention to turn, giving them time to react and adjust their actions accordingly. This helps promote safer and smoother traffic flow at intersections. Test 3. Question 5. If there is a deep puddle in the road ahead, you should Option A. Maintain the posted speed to make it through the water. Option B. Avoid the puddle, if possible. Option C. Shift into neutral as you drive through the water. The correct answer is Avoid the puddle, if possible. Explanation. If there is a deep puddle in the road ahead, the safest course of action is to avoid the puddle if possible. Driving through deep puddles can pose various risks, including hydroplaning, loss of control, and potential damage to your vehicle. 
Therefore, if you can safely maneuver around the puddle by changing lanes or steering away from it, that is the recommended action to take to ensure your safety and the safety of others on the road. Test 3. Question 6. All of the following are dangerous while driving. Which is also illegal? Option A. Wearing a headset that covers both ears. Option B. Having one or more interior lights on. Option C. Using cruise control on residential streets. The correct answer is. Wearing a headset that covers both ears. Explanation. Wearing a headset that covers both ears while driving is both dangerous and often. It can significantly impair your ability to hear important auditory cues from your surroundings, such as honking horns, emergency vehicle sirens, or other vehicles approaching. Additionally, it can distract you from focusing on the road and traffic conditions, increasing the risk of accidents. Therefore, in many places, laws prohibit the use of headsets or headphones that cover both ears while driving to ensure the safety of drivers and other road users. Test 3. Question 7. To turn left from a one-way street onto a one-way street, start from Option A. The lane closest to the left curb. Option B. The center lane. Option C. Any lane as long as it seems safe to do so. The correct answer is the lane closest to the left curb. Explanation. When turning left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, you should start from the lane closest to the left curb. This allows for a smoother and safer transition into the left lane of the intersecting one-way street. Always remember to signal your intention to turn left and check for any oncoming traffic or pedestrians before proceeding with the left turn. Test 3. Question 8. For which of the following traffic lights must you always stop your vehicle? Option A. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blocked out traffic signals. Option B. Solid red lights, red arrows, and flashing yellow lights. Option C. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and the yellow lights. The correct answer is. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blocked out traffic signals. Explanation. Solid red lights indicate a full stop is required, and flashing red lights also require you to come to a complete stop. Blocked out traffic signals, which are non-functioning signals, should also be treated as a stop, and you should proceed with caution as if it were a four-way stop intersection. Test 3. Question 9. You must file a report of a traffic accident occurring in California, SR1, with DMV if you Option A. Fail to pay your registration fees within 90 days of receiving your renewal notice. Option B. Are you involved in a collision and there is a more than $1,000 in damages? Option C. Allow a licensed driver from another state to drive your vehicle. The correct answer is. Are you involved in a collision and there is a more than $1,000 in damages? Explanation. You must file a report of traffic accident occurring in California, SR1, with the DMV if you are involved in a collision and there is more than $1,000 in damages. This report must be filed within 10 days of the accident if there are injuries, fatalities, or property damage exceeding $1,000, regardless of who was at fault. It's essential to report accidents accurately and promptly to ensure proper documentation and processing of insurance claims. Test 3. Question 10. Which of these statements is true about driving and taking medications? Option A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. Option B. Over-the-counter medications cannot impair driving ability if taken in the recommended dosages. Option C. Medications are safe to take at any time, if prescribed by a doctor. The correct answer is. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. Explanation. 
Many over-the-counter cold medications contain ingredients that can cause drowsiness or impair driving ability. It's crucial for individuals taking medications to read the labels carefully and understand any potential side effects, including drowsiness or impairment, before operating a vehicle. If a medication may cause drowsiness or impairment, it's important to avoid driving or operating machinery until the effects have worn off. Test 3. Question 11. The speed limit for a school zone where children are present is unless otherwise posted. Option A. 15 miles per hour. Option B. 25 miles per hour. Option C. 20 miles per hour. The correct answer is 25 miles per hour. Explanation. School zones typically have reduced speed limits to enhance the safety of children who may be crossing streets or walking near the school. The speed limit is typically set lower, around 25 miles per hour or even 15 miles per hour, to give drivers more time to react to potential hazards and reduce the severity of any accidents that may occur. Test 3. Question 12. A pedestrian who is blind or visually impaired uses traffic sounds before deciding to cross the street. If you see a pedestrian with a guide dog or with cane waiting to cross at corner, you should. Option A. Stop at the crosswalk and honk your horn. Option B. Drive into the crosswalk so the person can hear your engine. Option C. Come to a complete stop a safe distance so the person can hear your engine. The correct answer is, come to a complete stop a safe distance so the person can hear your engine. Explanation. You should come to a complete stop at a safe distance before the crosswalk, allowing ample space for the pedestrian to cross comfortably. Remember, pedestrians always have the right of way at crosswalks. Wait until they have safely crossed before proceeding. Give the pedestrian enough time to safely cross the street. Be patient and wait until they have completely crossed before proceeding.